Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So this week, I'm a little late on the van wagon, but I'm going to be filming for you guys a using a full face of highlighters challenge. So shout out to Mario, she was the lady who invented this challenge, and since seeing everyone else do it, like Jeffrey and Nikki and Shannon, it's just I just really want to myself and I want to look like a disco ball at the end and if I don't look like a disco ball I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> so if you guys want to see me get glitter stuck forever on my face then keep on watching. So as a primer obviously I want something pretty glowy so I'm going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream. Obviously this is a... I got it. <laughs> obviously this is a little mini size and instead of applying this just on the high points of my face I'm just gonna apply it everywhere because like why not? This is the highlighter challenge. Am I right? Am I right? If this doesn't make me look like a greasy mess, I'm gonna be disappointed. So right now, um, it looks like I've just been bathing in a pool of my own sweat, which was exactly the look I was going for. So for foundation, kind of, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiance Skin Tint. And I've heard that this isn't actually a foundation, but this is the glowiest thing I have isn't straight liquid illuminator. Okay, this literally gives like zero coverage, but oh well. Uh, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I just used this for the first time the other day, like I haven't used it in ages, and I was just like, Okay, it's actually pretty good because I've been trying so many new concealers and you know what? This one's still pretty damn good. So I'm going to set my face with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. People use these to like kick off their bake and stuff. I honestly always thought it was way too glowy for that. So I'm just going to use it today as a setting powder because people have told me to before and I want to see how it looks. Okay, honestly, it's really not that bad. Oh, I've got, <laughs> I have powder everywhere. So For bronzer, I'm going to be using this MAC Bronzing Powder in Refined Golden. I never really use this. It is literally pretty much like unused except for that massive swatch in the middle that I just took before. And I'm going to use this to bronze. It's very, very shimmery. Oh my. Also very very pigmented and I'm picking up way too much on my brush. So for blush I pretty much picked up the shimmeriest palette I could find which was the BYS Blush Trio in Heart Skipped a Beat. Sure. Uh, I'm not sure which colour I should use. I think I'm going to go in with this one on the edge because that looks interesting. <gasps> so, oh look at that, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. Okay, it is not everywhere on my cheeks. Oh, there we go. What a look. Now to highlight under my eyes and my forehead and nose and stuff before I actually highlight, I'm going to go in with this shade here, Forever Lit, which is absolutely terrifying me. So I'm just gonna, oh my God. Oh, it's so buttery. So this is just like my under eye highlight shade, like I just applied some nice light concealer and on my forehead, just all the places that you'd normally like highlight kind of. <laughs> okay for eyeshadow I'm going to be using this Maybelline Eye Studio little quad in Give Me Gold and I'm going to take that first shade here and I'm just going to pat this everywhere. Just spray a bit of a glowing base. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take that yellow gold colour and apply that all over the lid. It's okay if there's fallout because that just adds to the look. Okay, now I'm going to take that darker gold shade and I'm going to add that to the outer corners. So now I'm going to take this deep brown colour right on the end on this tiny little Sigma blending brush. 
brush that I dropped on the ground, blending E25. I'm going to take that shade and go into the crease of it. Wow, that is more pigmented than I thought. I kind of just want this to come out really bad, just so I never have any intentions of wearing this again. Okay, now I'm just taking that light colour on my brow bone and in a corner. Okay, now I'm going to take this ColourPop shade, uh, this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Glitterati. It's this very beautiful colour. I'm going to further highlight my inner corner with that. I'm going to um, pencil my brows in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. And set them in place with a brow gel. Okay, now to highlight even more, I'm going to be taking this vanity highlighter, which is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to take something that's way too much and apply it where I would actually highlight. That literally is the most beautiful highlight though. It's going everywhere. I'm just going to spray on some Fix Plus real quick. Just to be extra dewy. Oh, I look like an oil slick. And while that is drying, I'm going to apply some mascara, which is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. The mini one, of course. don't really want to apply too much mascara because I want my face to be the center of this look. Okay, I'm now going to apply some liquid lipstick, which is the shade I'm Nude by Jeffree Star. Now that that lip color has dried, I'm going to take that ColourPop eyeshadow and apply some of my Cupid's bow and then some right in the center of my bottom lip. I think we're done here. <laughs> I kind of hope we're done because this is a mess. I feel it's just every bit of texture is emphasized. I just look like I rolled out of like an, an, a barrel of oil. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I kind of want to get this off my face and I kind of think that it's not coming off tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just turn on a light real quick. Okay. <laughs> wow, that under eye highlight though. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Good luck. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make myself into this greasy looking mess. <laughs> Even though I kind of like it. It's weird. Okay, I need to stop liking it. I need to go take it off and stop liking it. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!